Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Renee Brannon, the Director of Southern Oregon Early Learning Services. Renee, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. My pleasure. So uh, what does Southern Oregon Early Learning Hub do for children and families? Uh, there are 16 early learning hubs in Oregon. Our serves Jackson and Josephine County, and we target uh, children prenatal through age six and their families. And we're a little unique in the early learning field in that we don't provide direct services to children and families. Instead, we um, pull together community partners in the sectors of early learning, K-12 education, health, and social and human services with the idea that we're bringing those stakeholders and the voices of the families they serve together to identify um, gaps in uh, our region or um, opportunities to bring innovation. And that's how we um, invest our services. Okay, yeah, there's certainly a lot of agencies and services and stuff. It's good to have somebody kind of manage that for people, I suppose. Yes. Okay, so what are the skills that children uh, need to be uh, need to have to be prepared for success in kindergarten? Because it's starting soon for a lot. It, it is. <laughs> um, it's not necessarily the skills that many folks might be thinking of. Um, it's not being able to identify letters or letter sounds or counting to 20 or writing your name, although those are great and fabulous. Um, it's really the, the social and emotional development skills that educators are saying are the most important for children when they arrive at kindergarten. Mm. And some of the examples of those skills are um, children that can use words to name their emotions, especially big emotions like anger or fear. Um, children that can um, play cooperatively with other kids and understand that other people have feelings too. Uh, children that can uh, listen and follow directions. Hmm. and children that can persist at a task even when it's difficult for them and just overall have a, a good feeling about themselves and other people. Okay, now what can parents do to, to help their children develop those skills? I'll give a few examples. Um, reading. Reading is probably the best tool that a parent can have in their arsenal of tools. Um, going to the library with your children and finding books on emotions and feelings are great. Reading those with children. Um, finding books that are targeting uh, kind of big events in children's lives, like going to school, for example. Mm -hmm. um, or it could be other traumatic or you know, life-changing events that are happening in children's lives. And just taking those books as the opportunity um, to explore how children are feeling and how they think the characters in the books might be feeling about those things um, is really great. And we have um, fab fabulous um, library partners in our region and children's librarians that are more than happy to, to help families to kind of find those right materials for what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. Um, dramatic play is really important for children. Children process um, their emotions and kind of what's going on in their lives through pretend play. And so making sure that we're giving children the opportunity to, to just play. And if parents are watching kids when they're playing, they'll kind of learn what kids are trying to mull over, um, what um, might be bothering them uh, mm -hmm. just through watching their dramatic play. And then open-ended art projects are really great. Um, open-ended means there is no right or wrong way to do it. However the child creates it is the right way to do it. Um, so stock up on the markers, the construction paper, the glue, the tape, the beans, whatever, and just let children go. Um, and then ask them what they created and let them kind of tell you what, what was going on with them at, at the time. And then I would say the biggest challenge that all parents could probably benefit from being mindful about is kind of putting the cell phone away. Mm. Um, and it's, it's definitely a competing priority in our, in our society right now. And if uh, parents can just be mindful to kind of set that phone down throughout the day and really engage with children because it, that's really, that relationship is really the best way that children learn and are able to kind of process what's going on in their world. Okay, very good. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Great. We'll have much more with Renee in just a moment. Stay with us. Okay. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Renee Brandon, the Director of Southern Oregon Early Learning Services. So uh, we, we're talking about skills that, that young kids need to develop. Uh, what proactive steps can parents take prior to their child starting kindergarten to make it a great year? I think first and foremost, establishing a good bed, bedtime routine. Um, an early bedtime, kids need more sleep than adults. And just making sure that it's the same process every night really helps um, to, to calm children down. Establishing a relationship with a teacher on an ongoing basis is really great. When the children feel that the important adults in their lives are communicating, it helps support them. 
And then I would say making sure you're getting registered. We're just about there. Um, if you haven't yet registered, please contact your local school and find out their process. Okay, and what resources are out there for parents who might have concerns about their child's development or, or just look for more support? I would um, promote early intervention as one program for any parents that might be concerned that their child could have a delay. Um, and seeking out uh, behavioral health supports if there are any concerns about a child's maybe anger outbursts or anxiety, that type of thing, talk to a pediatrician or behavioral health specialist. And then finally, uh, the Family Connection is our parenting education hub of Southern Oregon and offers a plethora of uh, parent education classes for just about every need a parent might have. Okay, great to see you. Thanks so much. Thank Very you. timely information. Appreciate Thank you. it. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.